Hello, welcome back to the Yorkshire Dales. I'm back in that field again. Uh, just on the sweep right across here with nothing and then boom, boom Nice little uh, buckle lock. Oh, it might have the fastener still in it, uh, the pin, so I'll leave that. Yay, little buckle. It's quite a nice start. Uh, all I'm using, by the way, here in this field is, see the, um, the little carrier bag? And then if you look up on that wall there, there's a little brick up, see? And that's what I use as markers, a little brick carrier bag. And I'll go to the right of that on the way back. That's your tip for today. <laughs> Hello, that's another buckle. Far more activity in this field than I realised. Bronze half penny, 1900, that would make it uh, Widow Head Victoria. It's a bit mucky, it's a bit thin. Okay, George something, George 3 probably, 1806 maybe. Um, 10 inch down, very clippy signal. Uh, positive but, but clicky. Uh, give him 94, 96. That, that's really iron, but uh, it's also George III, copper, half bennies. <laughs> nice 89, both directions. Now that's a new one on me. It's some kind of, of stud. Appears to have a, an emblem on it, but just what? I don't know. Hang on. It's going bald, but I can see something sticking out of it. <laughs> oh, it's one of my favourite thingies. <laughs> It's a bit of chain look. <laughs> and every one of them gives you a good signal. Wallop, wallop, wallop. 1920. George 5. Bronze penny. Look at that. Beautiful patina. Nice one. Every sweep I'm doing, alright, it's, it's about maybe 50, 60 yards across. But every sweep is, is producing something, so I'm quite happy. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was something really good then. It's a coil of lead. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, babe. Hey, George VI, bronze penny, 1937. They're still coming up with them. Just can't make out the date on that young head there. Young head Victorian bronze penny. Uh, and the date is in there. I think it's 67. I can't really see it. Too much sunlight. There you go. Is that 62? Could be 62. 1862. 67, this. It was in the uh, pull tab range. It's pewter, presumably. Um, silver plated, commemorative medal. Um, it's had a hammer at the top. I'm not sure what that is down there. It doesn't look very Keithley-ish to me. <laughs> uh, whoa. Gonna need a clean up. I, I can't really tell what it says. Really nice up here at the moment. The clouds keep coming over and cutting out that sun because it gets damned up when the sun's out. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, how's about that for a beautiful buckle, eh? Nice one. Oh, there was a fair bit of activity in this field, I'll tell you. Now, was it Georgian or was it uh, later than that? Ah, we live in hopes of a bit of Georgian silver. Oh, large chunk of lead, look, and a compulsory iron ring. <laughs> uh, I don't do iron. Hmm. It's starting to rain, slightly. So if it just blows over, uh, a strange piece of lead look. Weird. Hello, welcome to the roundup. 
had another great day out again today just a couple of hours up in that field but <laughs> and I, this is that barren field I thought <laughs> let's see what we got strip of copper 12 ball cartridge uh, <laughs> copper links of a chain these don't half give a good signal you know they go boop, 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 all three together lead a rolled up bit of lead um, chunky bit of lead they were all chunky bits of lead today but uh, nothing there that I can make out I got this just as I got rained off so I didn't really get time to film it and then the film I did at the car it, it clipped out because uh, the new camera sometimes it doesn't switch off so it makes a <laughs> it's recording for about five minutes before it switches off and then converting that is a nightmare so I just forget it now let's get back to this enough of my woes it's it's something to do with a with a carriage um, everything I find in the fields has something to do with horses or carriages just got the two screw holes though so that one obviously takes um, one of them wooden poles I think but uh, good signal wallop now look anything I like as good as silver it's buckles three very nice buckles is that a uh, Got a bit of silver hanging over on the edge of there, look. I think it is. Just uh, bear with me one moment. Yes, that was um, a silver buckle. That's brass under there, but uh, and just on the corner where it's missed there, that's, that's silver. That was a silver plated buckle. Uh, good one. Nice buckle this. Woo. Look at the lines to that buckle. <laughs> I go into raptures about the lines of buckles. <laughs> Got a gorgeous lines on that. An artiste made that. <laughs> Buttons. I only got one button. And that was one of these irony efforts. Look. High numbers. Can't make out the pattern on this. I think there is a pattern, but I can't make it out. And it it clips into something. It's got a chisel edge there. Look, oh, there. As so it pushes into something, but very thick, very heavy. Going to leave you money. I got five coins. Way. 1900 Widowhead, Victoria. Uh, 1930, that's a half penny. 1937 Penny, George VI. Uh, 1920 Penny, Bronze, George V. Very, very worn Victoria Younghead there, 1862. And I do believe that's an 1806. But it's one of these where uh, you, you just can't make it out. I suppose I could take a Brillo to that. Bear with me, one moment. Right, that's got to be George III. Look, there's his head. Quick five minutes uh, sandblasting. <laughs> uh, they're worthless, these coins. The only value they've got is if you can identify them. So there you go. George III... 1806, 1807. Now, the piece de resistance is this. It's a medallion commemorating the opening of the um, Bradford Technical College by um, Prince Edward. Princess Alexandria on the June the 23rd 1882 it was a Friday <laughs> look at that that's that's the college I'll put a couple of pictures on and you can you can see it is the college
Uh, I'm not going to try straighten it out. These, th these things just break. They're far too brittle to get mucked about with. But there we go. I presume the one with the beard is... <laughs> he, he later became uh, Edward VII, the king. And that was Queen Alexandra. Uh, now one of the hints I got was tucked away up there, look, it said Prince. Uh, and, oh, pr uh, Prince and Princess of... Mm, and then we get lost, look, Royal. Oh, the word Royal there. Uh, Highnesses. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, that's before he came, became King Edward the Seventh. 1882, they opened up this uh, technical college in Bradford. Oh, that would have been a, a fair decent medallion when it were new. There you go. So somebody up in that field went about 10 miles away to a, a college. I was there at the opening. Right, so... Yes! Had a good hunt. Got rained off. <laughs> Lucky we got a bit of sun actually. Still raining now. So there, I'm going to leave you to it. Same old thing. It's out there. All you got to do is get out and get it. Even, you know, I thought this field had nothing in it, but so far it's doing very, very well. Just found a bit with a, a pattern on, but no idea what it is. No idea at all. Get out there, get it found. I wish you all the best. Bye.